Hi, I'm Josh Jewelry, landscape astrophotographer and science communicator. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a really portable star tracker, the Move Shoot Move Nomad. This is a really popular form of star tracker because it's very portable, small and lightweight. So carry on to watch this video and I'll tell you more about why it's such a good portable and versatile choice for astrophotography. Right, so here we go. Here is the Move Shoot Move Nomad where it's all set up. This particular model happens to have a laser pointer as well as a periscope built into the overall design of the star tracker and what I think is quite unique is that this only weighs in at 480 grams which is quite unique. The concept though however with this star tracker is that it's mainly designed for wide angle astrophotography and so because it doesn't have the same quirks as say the Skywatcher Star Adventurer it means that it won't perform as accurate a polar alignment for a deep sky object but it's definitely a good choice however for wide angle photography so instead of using an equatorial mount how does it work so I've got here my Bemro Tortoise 24 CLV tripod and the idea is I take off the Arca Swiss style plate pop that on the floor somewhere and then the idea is we mount it in place so here we go now I'll just walk you through it so if I take this off first I've got a really powerful astronomical laser now I must mention when using this you need to be very careful especially if you're near airports don't use it for longer than 30 seconds the concept is you can shine up and wow look at the strength of that so the idea is is that it's built in to the Nomad and you can use this laser to point towards the pole star Polaris. So this is specifically for observers in the Northern Hemisphere sky but if you're in the Southern Hemisphere the same rules apply using different constellations. So you can use Octans as the main constellation. So if we attach that back in to the Nomad, let's just take these caps off. So now the concept is we can now use our geared head to point up in the direction of the North Celestial Pole. So just make sure that there's no aircraft around, everything's good. Turn on your laser pointer and then keep working up the declination until you're pointing in the rough direction of Polaris. So this is when we're working with right ascension and declination to make these critical adjustments. There we go, so we can turn that one off safely, which is great. And we can now remove the laser. And so the next step involves this rather unusual looking counterpart. Basically, it has fluorescent material inside. So effectively, it allows it to glow in the dark, which is a pretty cool quirk. And we put that on front of our polar scope and we just tighten that in place. What we need to do next is get to our equipment focused because all of our eyes are gonna behave in different ways. There it is. So what we can next use is an astronomy app. So this is when you're gonna need a mobile phone for this or you can use it online, whichever you prefer. But I like to use an app which is called PS Align Pro. Basically, you're looking for a model like that. These pieces of equipment are so clever, these apps, because it is constantly tracking the position of the pole star in relation to the North Celestial Pole. So I'm reading this map now and it's saying about quarter past three on the dial. So that's where I need to dial this to. So what we can do, exactly the same principles apply as before, is get our crosshairs aligned to that position. Right, so once you're all aligned, you see this red collar here? This is detachable. So what we can do is gently undo this element and it reveals the base plate. And so what we can do now is quite simple. It can attach to any free eighth ball head adapter. So we just screw this part into the bottom of the bait. You now position it in place to where you're going to position your camera and then attach it accordingly to the Nomad. What we do next is once we have the free eighth ball head adapter attached, we can then proceed with the normal procedure of attaching your camera lens to the base plate. 
So in this instance, I'm going to be using my trusty Sigma 14mm f1.4. Attach that to the plate. Okay, so that's the setup in principle. So all it involves now is turning the slider on the side to on and making sure that it's tracking for the northern hemisphere and you are now tracking the motion of the stars so you saw that actually it's quite a simple setup and it's got a good payload capacity but again this depends on your ball head and so you know I'd say the Nomad with its features like the laser pointer as well offers a good means of polar alignment so not only is it lightweight and an affordable option it's a great travel companion as well so I definitely vouch for the Move Shoot Move Nomad Star Tracker.